and welcome back to my channel. It has been way too long since I've sat down and actually filmed like a makeup tutorial with you guys. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Today is the day before Thanksgiving that I'm actually filming this. So happy Thanksgiving if you're watching this on Thanksgiving. Hopefully I can get this up and edit it up for you guys. So today is the 27th. So I've already done my base and uh, foundation concealer and cream contour and all that stuff off of camera. We're going to go in with all of our powder products for our base. So I'm going to go into um, bronzer. By the way, we are starting this video if you didn't get the memo. But for bronzer, I'm going to be going into this one today. This is the Fenty Beauty um, Sunstalker Bronzer. This is in the shade island things this is such a beautiful shade for our skin tone so i'm going to be going into one of my favorite uh, contouring brushes this is the sigma small contour f05 just popping this in here and just accentuating everywhere i put my cream contour i already did my brows and all that stuff as well if you guys are wondering one of my favorite brow products is the benefit precisely my brow i'm in the shade number six um yeah i think that's a that's the shade that i'm in it's a beautiful formula if you guys have not tried that uh uh, brow pencil definitely go out and try it because I'm telling you it's like life-changing I'm gonna switch brushes here because I want to accentuate my contour a little bit more and what brush am I gonna go into I have like the perfect uh, contour brush oh here it is this is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collection this is the JH07 brush. It is the perfect contour brush because it actually comes into a little bit of a tip or a point, I should say, at the top. So I just pick up a little bit more of whatever bronzer I have and pop it just all the way at the back here. So I'm hoping that the lighting in this video is semi decent because it is currently like after 3 30 right now and if you are in new york the time change and daylight saving and all that kind of stuff so it gets dark really really quickly here in new york these days so i'm trying to like work against the sun but hopefully this video looks good let's move on to blush here i'm gonna go into what blush do i want to go into let's go into this one this is the anastasia beverly hills blush trio this is in the shade pink passion i'm just gonna be mixing all three why not let's be adventurous today so if you guys don't follow me on instagram which you should um i put up a poll not a poll but like a a little bit of a questionnaire type of thing of what you guys want me to kind of film for you guys because i'm kind of like in a little bit of a rut like i don't know what else to film because i feel like makeup tutorials are so kind of played out but i know you guys still want to see videos from me so um one of my followers recommended me do a video that is just talking about all products that are really great for brown girls specifically and I think that's like a brilliant idea. I will just say I probably, I don't think I'll name the video product specifically for brown girls that you guys need to have. Because I hate using the word brown girls. We're golden. We're tan. We're golden. We're kind of like golden girls. You know what I mean? That's just me being like really extra though. But I'm probably going to be doing that video really, really soon. Because again, it's a really bomb idea and i think a lot of videos don't really cater specifically to brown girls all right let's move on to highlights i'm so excited to be using this highlight um this is one that tati beauty is it tati beauty tati hair on uh youtube she actually uses and the brand reached out to me and sent it to me this video is not sponsored please do not come at me and tell me that this video is sponsored i just love this palette so so much this is from the brand called private society i mean the packaging is beautiful and this is their glow getter highlighting palette it comes with one two three four eight highlighting shades and it comes in like Like I was saying, this palette has eight different shades to cater to like the lightest of the lightest to the deepest of the deepest. And it's a beautiful highlighting palette. And 
I mean, hopefully the camera does this justice, but these highlights are absolutely insane and the pigment is just beyond so I'm gonna be using that palette today and I'm gonna be going into my Milani brush this is really similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hill brush that everyone goes crazy over and I'm gonna be mixing these two shades Conceited and Sugar Daddy and we're just popping this right on top of that cheekbone super pretty like you can tell just by the video the video just does it justice and it's just a beautiful highlight for our skin tone always do a cupid's bow and nose highlights my favorite part of highlighting is actually my nose highlight i'm going to set the rest of my face i'm going to be using my morphe continuous setting spray Go back in with your sponge. Just make sure everything is nice and melted into your skin. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to be zooming you guys in and we're going to be moving on to the eyes. All right, babe, so I clearly did one of my eyes off of camera just so we can speed up this process. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my P. Louise base in the shade number three. And I'm gonna pop this on a Alamere brush here just putting a little bit of product on the brush I'm gonna use this to not only set my not set my lids but kind of blank out my lids but to also clean up under my brow here this is a really really great base for any eyeshadow work that you're gonna be doing but because of the consistency of the product it's really great to clean up under your brows as well also to cut out the crease if you are interested in doing that too all right and once that is nice and buffed in we're gonna move on to eyeshadow we're not gonna set this base at all and the palette that I'm gonna be using for this specific look is this one from LA girl it is a massive palette it is a limited edition holiday palette I don't know what the name of it is exactly because it doesn't have it on the actual packaging but I know it's limited edition and it's only here for the holiday but it is a massive palette and the pigmentation of the shadows are absolutely insane so we're gonna be dipping into this palette today and the first color I'm gonna be going into is this one here which is loyal and I'm going to be using a JH41 brush, just picking this up, and I'm going to be tapping this all over my lid right on top of that base. So you can see how pigmented these shadows are. I'm going to tap a little bit all up in this crease a little bit. Don't bring it too, too high because by the time we blend it out, it's going to be high already. But you just want to place the pigment mostly on this lid area and a little bit into that crease. And I'm going to be picking up a different blend. <laughs> I'm going to be picking up a different blending brush. This is the JH40, one of my favorite tiny little blending brushes. And I'm not picking up any additional product. I'm just going to like lightly blend out these edges. And I'm not like winging out my shadow or anything like that. I'm trying to keep it pretty round here so this is like kind of like honestly the hardest part is just kind of taking your time and buffing this shadow out going into another small blendy brush this is the same jh40 brush but it's just another one i have like four of these because i love it so much and i'm going to be going into the shade poise which is a darker brown shade we are popping this in the outer corners and inner corners here just taking your time and buffing and blending and building if you need to. As you can tell, we are doing a halo eye. So you want to keep the center here nice and blanked out. But just make sure that it's still connected and still buffed out. I'm going to be deepening up this a touch more. And I'm going to be going into a pencil brush. This is the JH38 brush. And I'm picking up the black shade. This is the shade Vogue. And again, popping this in the outer corner as well as that inner corner as well. Okay, and now for the pop in the center of our lid. We're going into the shade Classy, which is a beautiful, like, 
yellow gold shade it's super duper pigmented but we don't want it we don't want it to be super pigmented like this because i'm actually going to be popping something else on top i'm just going to kind of lightly apply this right in the center with a brush if you want it to be super duper like intense definitely go in with a finger and apply a little bit more product than i am but again i just want it to be nice and light because i'm going to be applying a glitter on top of this now for the glitter on top of my lid we're also going to be going into a la girl product this is their glitter toppers these are beautiful if you have not tried these out girl you are missing out you need you definitely need to go out and purchase these so this is in the shade gold digger which is very fitting so let me pick up a different brush now i'm going to use the same brush here and i'm going to be popping a little bit of this on the brush and then we're popping this literally right on top of that first shade we put all right we're gonna quickly move on to our lower lash line and i'm gonna be picking up the same shade loyal which is that first orangey shade that we popped all over our lid i'm using that same jh40 brush and we're gonna just heavily pack this on this lower lash line here and then with that pencil brush i'm picking up the shade vogue which is that black shade and we're gonna really really tightly place this closer to our lower lash line Okay, for my inner corner highlight, I'm going back into the Private Society palette, the highlighting palette that I showed you guys, which is the Glow Getter palette, and I'm going to be picking up the shade Illuminati. Alright, so I'm going to go and pop on some lashes. The lashes that I'm going to be using are from Kiss Lashes. These are in the style Gala, I believe. So I already have them outside of the pack and they are already cut and trimmed to my eye. I've worn these lashes so many times that they are just customized to my eye at this point. Okay, for lips, I'm going to be using my favorite lip liner. This is the Wen Wild Gel Lip Liner in the color Gone Burgundy. And then for lips, I'm going to be going into a nude stick. I don't even know what these are called, but they're not a liquid lipstick. They're just kind of, it just says magnetic matte lip color. And this is in the shade Boho. This is very, very fall appropriate and very much my vibe. I love these because they are like insanely waterproof and they have like a little minty tingling sensation to your lips, but it's not anything like super overwhelming. All right, babe, so this is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do recreate it for Thanksgiving, please let me know and do tag me. I would love to see your recreations. But thank you guys so much, always, always, always for watching it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.